We, we, you just believe we, we are hopes, you know, and that's something like, oh my God, no matter how long I've stayed here, I still thank God that I was born and raised in the motherland where, you know what, you have to scratch for everything. So, you know, let me tell you, I realize that in America, kids can wake up and say, Mom, I think I don't want to go to school anymore. I'm tired. And where we come from, that's called evil spirits. For you to wake up and just tell your mom, you will not even have that effort unless one evil spirit has entered you. And believe me, Nigerian moms or African moms or black moms know how to send that evil spirit back to you. They don't even need to pray. You just need to move back a little bit and throw that hand back. Like Reno William. And once that hand lands on your Tell your mom, mom, I want to go for my PhD. But I want to drop out of school to PhD. That's what I love. I, you know, I love African moms for that. Another thing I love them for is the fact that, you see, in this part of the world, right, you hear moms go out and they give instruction to their kids in direct tests. Like, uh, John, I'm going to go get some groceries right now. I'm going to need you to do dishes, <laughs> clean your room, and do your homework, right? That is a direct, we call it direct instructions. And that is why kids here might be angry sometimes. Have you noticed that when you bring kids from the islands or from the motherland, once they get into America, even if they were average students, they become straight A students. You know why? Because our mothers give us instruction in the opposite. <laughs> they tell you the opposite of what they want you to do. And the spirit of the living God will translate for you. Like this is my African mom. It's going out. The same thing with the Western mom. Like, Shay, I'm going to get groceries. You see those dishes in the sink? Please leave them. Don't wash it. Me that is your servant, I will come and wash it for you. And you will see yourself. And the spirit of the living God will say, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. You better do the opposite of what she asked you to do. And you're going to die today. And she's going to go. Uh, your homework, please don't do it. Just sit and be watching TV. And you become like a straight A student, right? And I come back. <laughs> and in the Western world, you know, your parents threaten you and you know the threat. Oh, Junior. You're supposed to be doing your homework, you're watching TV. Time out! You know your punishment. You know what I love? African parents, they leave the threat for your imagination. They don't finish the sentence. If you're supposed to be doing your homework and you're watching TV, she comes back. What? John? Oh, you're watching TV. Instead of doing your homework. Oh, good. You see. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I don't know what she's going to do. Because oh. once they snap that finger, mm -hmm, anything can happen. You can be in the state of coma for one week. You can see Jesus and come back. You can die. And you know, you, you can't, you see, let me tell you something. You can't threaten them. With the Department of Child Service. You're like, yeah, you touch me, I'm going to call the Department of Child Service. How long will it take them to get here? <laughs> 20 minutes, you're dying in two. <laughs> Let's give our mothers a big round of applause. Give them a round of applause. <laughs>